Okay, one of my favorite, 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 favorite leather companies uh, that I that I demo and debut for you guys. This is Love 41. This is their classic uh, cosmetic bag in tobacco. Um, this bag makes me laugh because I did an unboxing like in July and then I'd never posted it till December. And then anyways, anyways, so here's the review and it's been a thousand years. So it just makes me laugh that I, I don't know why, because I use this bag all the time and it deserved more uh, airtime than I gave it. So I wanted to show you first, this is one of the reasons that I bought it. I saw Suzette like rocking this thing with a tiny strap and frankly, it's a wristlet strap. So it's meant to be uh, not so much one on each D ring, but more like, like this. Um, but I saw her in her demo video like rocking it over her shoulder and for some reason I'm like dang that's so cute anyway Suzette must be like 90 pounds because I can't put this on over my shoulder <laughs> um, so anyways whatever it's still a great bag and I'm not not missing anything but it is technically a cosmetic bag so I went and gathered up some cosmetics so I could show you guys what could fit in here um, as its original intended use. This is the YKK zipper. Um, I keep, I use bare minerals because I don't really know how to do makeup. And so I gravitate towards makeup that's like idiot proof. Um, and so I'll put on like my own tinted moisturizer. Like I'll use my day lotion and a squirt of foundation, shove that on and I feel like it um, because it's just basically you putting lotion on your face that you can put on and apply it evenly. And then the other idiot proof thing that I use is bare minerals. Um, so I have the bare minerals, bare minerals brushes. And um, some people might say that's like strange that I keep it in like the half sandwich bag. But the, I do that for a few reasons. One, because yes, this is uh, pig skin lined. I could easily take a baby wipe and wipe it out um, if it were to get powder on it. But to me, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to do that. I'd rather just keep my brushes segregated in a bag. They're always clean, etc. cetera. Um, and then I'm not getting color on the interior of my uh, cute leather bag. So I keep all this in here and I have um, a blush brush and a lip liner and I don't even know the last time I used this, but it's like uh, eyeliner. I guess if I was feeling fancy, I would use some eyeliner. And then I have also in there like um, an eyebrow, eyeshadow. I don't even know how to do eyebrows, but like an eyeshadow brush. Um, and then there's still plenty of room in there, but I just wanted to show you. Um, if I was going to use it as a makeup bag, I'd probably put lotion in and I put this glass one in because it holds a lot. Um, and so I kind of like that one. And then I have uh, this, which Bare Minerals calls like warmth, kind of like all over and then blush. And you just, it's so e easy. You just like shake it out, throw it on, you're done. And I feel like it makes you look like awake. It's never going to be the face of somebody that's like uber polished. But for me, I feel like it's just enough. Uh, and then they have this, which is a mineral veil topper. And then, like, I don't know if I should be saying that you should do this, but when I buy my foundation from MAC, I go in there and I say, like, hey, I'm going on vacation. Like, squirt some of my whatever foundation into one of your sample thingies, and then I take this on vacation. So I don't have to take my giant uh, foundation and or glass bottle in my purse. Um, but I guess if you buy MAC, like, why shouldn't they do that for you, right? And then this I have like eyeshadow and that all fit in there very easily. Um, I'll be frank with you, I just did that as a demo. I never ever put my cosmetics in here, not for any reason, but just because I use this as a day bag, as a lunch purse. Uh, when I'm on vacation, I like using this bag. Um, I will show it to you with the other strap and you could do it also, um, like you could just have no straps and throw it in your bag. Um, it could be a little clutch, whatever, but let me show you. I would say 90% of the time, like when I carry this bag, it's on the weekend and I'm like running to Costco or something and I just want like hands free and easy. And to me, that is this bag. So it's got a nipple rivet closure. Did I put it on backwards? Yeah, I totally put it on backwards. No wonder I was having a hard time. So anyways, let me do this. You know what, guys? I haven't had my coffee, so uh, bear with me here. I think I put it on backwards again. Um, did I put it on backwards? Not sure. Anyways, so it's late in the day. I do have my coffee. I just got to, like, work my way through it, you know? Um, I'm one of those people that, like, I'm not functioning until I've drank my coffee. 
as you can well tell. See, even, anyways, whatever. Let me do it the other way around. Long story short, you gotta have the nipple rivet like this. And I always put mine on a fairly short setting. I think I set it right here. Um, there we go. We are in business. Um, and you could flip it around like this if you wanted to, but I'm not going to, because I obviously, uh, I'm having some issues this morning not quite awake and um, it's cute so I always wear it crossbody and it's just a simple easy out of the way bag it could easily go on your shoulder um, but for me I'm more of a crossbody girl if that's an option so this is it this is the love 41 cosmetic bag slash crossbody purse that's easy and oh let me show you one other thing let me show you how I actually pack it out I put in a simple wallet I put in my phone I put in these are really chunky ginormous keys so if you don't if you aren't like me and have a ridiculous key set you could probably put other things in here but for me it's almost maxed out let me see yeah I can't put that in there I can't put that in there let's take my keys out just for demo purposes I have this is soft-sided sunglasses case let's see if you could do that you could do phone yeah so you could do that. If you don't have clunky keys, you could easily put a, a small sunglass case in there. And could I do this, the Love 41? Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Not sure, not sure. Yeah, you could easily do that. The, I, I, you just have to stand them up vertically. So what I put in, uh-oh. Be a little careful, put that thing in upside down. It's caught on my zipper now. Dang, you know this video is not edited. Okay, so what I did was when I put this this wallet in there, this caught on the zipper. So next time I'm going to do this, uh, and the rounded edge will probably help, but that fits in really nice. So that's phone, snap wallet, and the Love 41 essential oils pouch. Um, I can't put my keys in there, but a normal person, actually maybe I could. Maybe I could. The gods might be smiling on me. Not really. I can't zip it but I also keep in mind most people probably don't have mace on their thing in which case you could easily zip it so this is it the love 41 cosmetic bag do I have any version 2.0s for this beauty you know what I'm gonna say no I don't because for the size that it is it stands up comfortable carry uh, easily zips I wouldn't even ask for an outside pocket because it's such a small bag um, and it's doing double duty as a cosmetic bag so it's just it's just a little workhorse of a bag um, and if you are new to love 41 this is kind of a great starter kit a great introduction to uh, the quality of their bags thank you so much for watching